Mr. Robert. And I must inform you all that England is in desperate trouble. We have a king upon the throne of England. His name is Richard II, but good friends, he is but a ten-year-old boy. And now, of course, his uncle, John of Gaunt, is uh, doing a very good job as Lord Protector. But we are vulnerable. And we are vulnerable for one very, very important reason. The plague, good people. I look about me and I see sadness upon your faces. Why? For, of course, you've all lost friends and family to the plague, have you not? Yes, yes, yes I have. It's dreadful. I feel a little plaguey myself this day, so do not too come too close. But also, good friends, the plague has rendered our economy in desperate, desperate peril. Never again should our leaders allow our economy to fall into such disarray, and I'm sure they will not in future times, good friends. <laughs> but we have, we have to act. For why? Well, because we are so vulnerable this day, uh, and our economy has taken such a turn for the worst, it is very difficult for us to pay our hired mercenary soldiers. And so, good friends, we find ourselves with fortresses such as this one uh, being undefended against those who might try and defeat us. And so we must form ourselves into local militia. And I see you all have come from the Tower Liberties. You've taken refuge here in the Tower of London. And well, you might, good friends, for we must all fight together. Now, Charles V of France has taken it upon himself to take advantage of our current weakened state. He has taken back lands in France that belong to the English and indeed has made incursions here on these very shores. How utterly outrageous that is. And so, good friends, we must learn how to defend, firstly, the Tower of London. Also, more importantly, how to attack so that we may win back those lands and those, um, those great fortresses that we have lost both at home and abroad. But, good people, you may look at me and think that I am dressed uh, most splendidly. You may think I am a man of action. And I am, that you are. but only with a needle and thread, for good friends, I am but a, a humble tailor. Uh, no doubt um, you would think that you would need a proper leader, someone who is schooled in the art of medieval siege warfare. And so, good friends, uh, we are not abandoned to this terrible plight, for we have Mistress Charlotte, who will school us all in these great areas. And I will Thank you, Master Robert. Yes, indeed, my, my husband is a sergeant at arms within these walls here at the Tower of London, and he has given me the responsibility of training you rabble here, so none shall be useless mouths, for if you are, I want, I want none of you. You could just be thrown straight back out again. I want everyone to have their hands to the deck. So, are you all with me? Yes! Good! Right, first of all, we need to elect a leader. I think you, sir, would make a good leader. What is your name? Hannes. Hannes. Right, you can be captain. And where does a captain lead from? <laughs> well, we are hiding away off in the back. So, uh, do stand at the back, but of course, you want to send your troops in first, so you're not the first one to get shot. Yes. But if I'm a brave leader, no. I'm standing first line. Look, look, get to the back, don't argue with me. Right, so you will be our first leader for a cause. I do feel that uh, the best way to learn how to defend this castle is to first pretend that we are the attackers. Then you will know the pitfalls and you will know the jobs that you will all have to do when you are recruited. So. First of all, uh, uh, Captain, could you uh, have two volunteers, please, to go and pick up that grand ladder? No, they need to be stout, sturdy, strong men to go and pick up the ladder over there. Two large two chaps. Two large chaps. Two yeah, there you go, sir. We have a volunteer. A man of and, uh, and, sir, do, uh, do come along. Go and pick up the ladder and go and bring it down here, please. And uh, while we... You know, you're going to have to stand up. You're going to have to stand up. Otherwise, you'll get shot by the French. So uh, we are going to, as a group, on uh, your command, we are your captain's command, we are going to charge uh, with a great war cry of havoc. And, uh, and we will be wearing our war faces, if you will. What do our war faces look like? No, sir, you've got now. now. But, uh, I will see a great, great, oh, scary, scare those French back. So I think one thing to Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Now, good friends. Uh, yeah, it's not yet. Wait for your captain's command. <laughs> right, Sarah. Uh, uh, three, so pick up the ladder. Uh, one on your cry. Charge! Charge! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hannes, I think you've got some troops 
Discipline. <laughs> Friends, when we do cry, have off, and we charge.